on the grounds of the old soldier's home in Washington, D.C. We're going to be visiting Lincoln's Cottage, where he spent over a quarter of his presidency. After that, we're going to be traveling to the Education Center here on these grounds, where the 16 students are going to be having a debate amongst themselves over the Emancipation Proclamation. Today, we are going to participate together in a program known as Debating Emancipation. And we're going to have you all take on the roles of President Lincoln's cabinet members. And I really invite you to kind of take on their persona. The cabinet members will debate how, when, and where to end slavery as the Civil War rages. I'd like you to look on the screen and find out about your background, your family, and your rivals. Find out why President Lincoln chose you to be in his cabinet. What did you think of President Lincoln? Are you ambitious? Are you funny? Are you serious? And once you feel familiar with them and ready to take on that role, I'm going to ask you to put on a hat to show that you are ready to be that particular cabinet member. Okay, well, maybe we can uh, go around and see what advice the various cabinet members had for Abraham Lincoln. Well, we feel that a military order of emancipation could help end the war. But emancipation must be coupled with immediate colonization. Immediate colonization. So you are in favor of it, but coupled with colonization. Well, I fear, Mr. Lincoln, that uh, right now the only thing holding us on with the border states is our support so far of the protection of slavery. And so if we issue this emancipation proclamation, they would be so angry that they might join the Confederacy. Well, I absolutely uh, am in favor of emancipation, um, but I think that we should go even further than that. I think that anybody who's loyal, black or white, should be able to enlist in the army. But some countries, they might see emancipation as a sign of desperation. So I think we should wait until we get a military victory before we start proclaiming anything. Okay, um, Mr. Wells, our Secretary of the Navy, what, what do you advise? Uh, we feel that that um, an Emancipation Proclamation is a great idea, mm -hmm. um, fully support it, although there is a good chance that it will be declared unconstitutional by mm. the Supreme Court. That is a concern. That is a concern. Do you have any final advice for me? This Emancipation Proclamation will help us end the war, but we also support compensation and colonization. Mm -hmm. yeah. Compensation and colonization. Excellent, excellent advice.